what do you call uh, get some uh, feedback from Mr. Alex on the introduction of himself. Okay, so I give this uh, opportunity to Mr. Alex. Okay, so my name is Alex Mingyu Lee, and I live in South Korea, and uh, it it has been twenty one years since I. I learned treats and meanwhile I have been using it uh, in Samsung. I was a researcher in Samsung. Uh, we developed AMOLED, you know, and uh, after so during I was in Samsung for 12 years and I, I led the, the treats and Six Sigma innovation uh, implementation in Samsung AMOLED team. And then I became professional consultant and, uh, in IBM and also in Uni Innovation Lab, which is my own consulting company. And also uh, in QMNE uh, Business Consulting, which is another bigger consulting company of Korea. And uh, Kremini was uh, uh, also has some strategic relationship with uh, Gen Gen Three Gen Three partners, you know. Okay. So we were strategic partners of them, and uh, we uh, I worked with two Russian Tris masters. One is Vasily Lenyashin. And the other is Yuri Danilovsky. Both uh, treats masters heavily applied treats together with me and other Korean consultants in Korea. So during last 10 years, we did uh, consulting for about 100 big projects and uh, three, more than 300, uh, including small, small projects and coaching. So, okay, that will be enough for first introduction. Okay, this, that is a very, what you call, um, uh, what you call a great opportunity uh, for, uh, for us to, to have uh, Mr. Alex as uh, uh, what you call, have a vast experience in uh, applying trees, okay? So um, uh, maybe from, from my side, I, I will, what you call, maybe share a bit uh, regarding with uh, Trees Malaysia. So uh, uh, I'm uh, what you call a founder of Tris Malaysia. So we are um, we have a very what you call we are in, we are developed um, together with uh, Mytris. So Mytris is an association that is uh, have also a partner with Gentry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so um, our what you call uh, part, uh, our, our main partner is actually. Uh, what they call Sege Ikovenko. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we we I think it start very early. I think in in two thousand. I think if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so, uh, uh, two thousand or two thousand something. So it is start early uh, before me lah. So and then they have uh, some uh, collaboration with uh, my trees, and then from there they try to introduce and try to develop association. They call uh, Malaysia Trees Association. So from there, we get uh, some help from Gentry and with under uh, Matris certification. So we try to uh, promote the so-called Trees program under one agency, a uh, digital agency under Malaysia government called MDEC. And then from there, we try to what you call promote trees uh, from academic to uh, industry. Okay, so mm -hmm. from there, uh, our first uh, industry partner is Intel. Intel. Mm -hmm. Intel. Uh, so uh, we yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we have Dr. Yu Yu, I think. Uh, Dr. Yu is uh, at that time working in Intel Malaysia, and mm -hmm. he become our uh, what you call teacher. Okay? Our first. Uh, uh, what you call um, uh, what you call uh, guru in 
promoting trees uh, in uh, our Malaysian country lah. So from there, I learn a lot uh, coming from Dr. Yo and also uh, certification with uh, Matris under Dr. Sergei Ikovenko. Mm -hmm. And then um, I continue my study, uh, my and my topic using trees as a research. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I'm working in uh, Proton, uh, National Car Automotive Company, uh, Proton Proton Holdings. So I try to use the tools with uh, design to cost. So uh, I think you use for Six Sigma, right? Okay, trees and Six Sigma. Uh, okay. So I use trees for design to cost, which which is try to reduce R and D cost for automotive design so uh, that is uh, in 2011 so and right now i've left proton uh, and i joined university uh, and uh, also i develop a consulting company uh, called um, trees center of excellence from there i try to support any malaysian industry uh, or any agency that uh, interested in uh, learning trees so one of um, our biggest achievement is uh, introducing trees in national uh, education mm -hmm. uh, secondary school uh, for uh, design and technology subject so for design and technology subject we have uh, trees inside this uh, textbook. Mm -hmm. So that is a very small uh, introduction from my side. Mm -hmm. Design and analogy? Uh, design and technology subject. Uh, technology, I see. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, maybe I can invite, uh, what do you call, Kyung. Mr. Kyung, do you want to uh, introduce yourself? Okay. Okay. He 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 will online soon. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have another participants, maybe. Ah uh, yeah. So you I can introduce. Okay. So I know. Do you want to introduce yourself? No. Okay. Maybe it's just a. Uh, a participant. Okay, maybe uh, Alex, uh, uh, what do you call? Kyung, you can proceed. Hi, Dr. Johasny. Hello, Alex. Uh, nice to see you all. I'm so, I'm so surprised. I'm, so, I'm very surprised uh, because I thought that today I'm just a participant uh, listening to both of you to share your experience. So what a surprise today. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, I, I happen to, I happen to, um, I'll say, uh, instead of happen to the RUC uh, institution that I work with, uh, it's a university college in Kuala Lumpur. And um, they invited, invited uh, Dr. Yeo, okay, to, to our, our university college in 2012 uh, to, uh, how say, to share the knowledge of trees with us. Uh, that's how I uh, get to know trees. And um, uh, I find it, I find it very fascinating. It's because uh, I I am looking for tools, okay, to you know, to help uh, to help people to solve problem. And then I, I find that trees is very how say systematic in such a way. And uh, at the moment the moment I attended the first lesson, uh, that's what that's what uh, captivating me to continue to study trees uh, together with Dr. Zohasni and and the rest uh, until trees level three. And uh, I apply trees uh, mainly mainly for for the student project. Okay, um, uh, that's that's a that's a that's a, a very challenging, uh, especially when um, the students. Okay, um, uh, it doesn't matter whether they are engineering students, it doesn't matter whether they are computer science students. I taught them trees before, and. Um, based on their different field i cater for them okay a different requirement of trees uh, that is i didn't apply trees i mean i mean exactly as it is it depends on it depends on their project or case by case basis 
Okay. Uh, so so far, uh, so far I've been I've been doing that for the past uh, past uh, more than more than six years, and then along the way I developed uh, many small projects. Okay, and then all these projects I gear them towards entrepreneurship. That is to create something that people can use. Uh, so I find I find this very interesting and very useful. Is because uh, the result is quite um, encouraging, uh, especially when I when I see them. Uh, how say because because before this session they were, they were many 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 things that they cannot create things. Okay, and then they have the concept. They have a misconception thinking that uh, only when they study in a higher level, then only they can integrate. But then using using this methodology of trees, huh, um, so many many of them create something, and then some of their some of their project is very surprising, and then uh, a, a few of them are now into entrepreneurship. Okay, that's my sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Kyung. Okay, so uh, the next uh, session is actually uh, ex experience sharing. Uh, in learning trees okay so maybe i uh, can give this to the floor to mr alex to maybe share with us how you came to this so-called trees knowledge and how do you develop this kind of knowledge uh, uh, under samsung okay <clears throat> so it was 1999 that i first uh, attended a lecture do you hear me? Okay, I hear you. Okay. Lecture by a uh, Tris Master, uh, Vasily. So he was the first Tris consultant invited uh, who worked in Samsung, hired by Samsung. Uh, and it was three day course. And uh, on the first day, uh, I was shocked that uh, a theory or a method of invented pro problem solving existed i never heard of something like that only some some scamper or some some simple method i heard but it looked like very systematic so i was hooked on the first day and uh, uh, in some some uh, tris masters and then the, the at similar time LG also invited three uh, experts from Russia but the approach of Samsung and LG was different uh, LG invited uh, this expert and uh, uh, let him uh, the, a attended lecture for one week or two week or three week and then the expert returned to Russia and they thought they learned trees and the Korean engineers started to and, and solve problems. Partially it was successful, but Samsung approached differently. They also provided lectures, but uh, they hired the trees expert. So until now, they are hiring several trees Russian trees experts in in Samsung because they thought uh, the problem solving skills cannot be developed in short period of time. It, it needs huge uh, many years of experience of real problem solving. So we hired we let them solve our problems and together we participated in solving the problems hello are you there yeah i'm there i'm here, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Sorry. so uh, there are several articles in Phobos magazine and uh what is the fortune magazine also about how samsung started applying trees for their, their innovation. And, uh, so first, uh, after the training by 
uh, trust experts, several trust masters, including Vasily and uh, Komenko, Greg Komenko and Nikolai Shpakovsky. And then I studied during during 10 years, I studied together with some other uh, students at that time in Korea. And then uh, I joined this Tris consulting company in 2010. And I, at that time, I started to use Tris for my business. I, during last 10 years, I, I was Tris consultant and my, my main job was Tris problem solving. And together with the Russian experts, I solved many Tris uh, projects. So that's how I learned. And during last uh, several years, I uh, I wrote several papers about my own methodology developed from Gen3 methodology and uh, the Trist Masters, my, my colleagues' methodology also. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, talking about try to improve uh, the knowledge of uh, trees. Uh, you, you mentioned about uh, own methodology, so meaning that um, as a classical trees, we've learned a lot about the what they call contradiction. We learn about physical contradiction, Sufil uh, analysis, and trends, and so on and so forth. So, uh, various uh, experience uh, coming from the trees master, which they actually uh, try to uh, what you call add value. Uh, in terms of improving the methodology. So from your perspective, when you mentioned about your own methodology, so you are mm -hmm. talking about the three tools or the, the process of uh, solving the problem. So which part actually you, you uh, talk about regarding with your own methodology? Mm -hmm. Maybe I could share my screen. Sure, please. I don't know how exactly. <laughs> there is a arrow First box one. in the middle, share content. Okay. All right. Arrow, uh, just a moment. Yeah. See my screen? Uh, I see your screen. Yes, yes, I can see your screen. Okay. Right. So, it's a bit modified version of uh, your uh, diagram. So you see here, the left side. Do you see my, my mouse? I can see your mouse. Cursor? Cursor? Yes. You see? OK. So normally, you will see the right the main part of the diagram. But we added uh, we, the, this left part. Sorry, sorry. We cannot see the, the screen. We can see the cursor only. Huh? What do you see? I see a blank, uh, what do you call? A blank uh, page with a cursor. So you need to go. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. So you need to share the screen. Oh, okay. Just one. Close the contents. Just a moment. And now we see blank, uh, what do you call? Uh, mesh. Screen something like that. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe I'll just talk. Oh, yeah, 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 proceed, please proceed. Okay. Yes. So I'll stop sharing. Mm, okay. Mm. 
Okay, so um, when I was in Samsung, and the treats that I learned there was mostly classical treats. So after 2010, I met when I met Gentry Partners methodology. I consider that was uh, that included modern treats, and the main difference. Uh, would be the front end part, which is related with uh, the cause effect chain analysis, functional analysis, or benchmarking analysis, that part. So, usually we say that uh, we solve, uh, we meet a specific problem, we define a specific problem to solve, and we model the problem in abstract area abstract terminology and we using this uh, methodology we transform we get the abstract answer model of the answer and then we transform it the realistic real solution practical solution so this part we will be familiar to you but the starting point finding out the specific problem to solve finding out the key problem it's already in the middle of the process because the inventive situation is complicated. It's big. It's uh, uh, ma many correlated problems, a system of problems. Mm -hmm. So that part could be defined and so and uh, analyzed and processed uh, uh, to a list of key problems. Mm -hmm. So the main tool for that. For used for uh, that uh, front end, front half of the problem solving process is benchmarking analysis and uh, function analysis and cause effect chain analysis. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, uh, oh, okay, one. Like, okay, so, uh, yeah, that's it. I, so I found that part was important and uh, I found some missing, uh, I found the existing connection or flow of solving the, in the method of Gentry methodology was not very clear, not very detailed. There was some jump between the tools. So I improved the function analysis into function analysis plus, and I improved the cause effect chain analysis to cause effect chain analysis plus. That was what I have done. And I have two papers. Uh, you can see the papers in my homepage, uni, uni, you know, Yeah. Okay. Okay. So maybe you can, uh, what do you call, uh, share the, the, the address of your website in our communication note. Okay. Uh, communication chat. Okay. okay. So, um, yeah, that, that is a very uh, interesting, um, uh, what you call sharing. Um, I, I also agree with, with you actually, uh, where actually we, we uh, the, the, the tools is actually um, only applied during a specific uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Actually the initial, uh, what you call, initial uh, setup, of uh, problem solving is need to be more uh, what you call uh, focus need to be more uh, solid before we want to try to uh, apply the trees tool so i i've seen a lot of um, uh, trees master uh, they they what you call use a certain tool with a certain approach eh? for example and uh, one of the trees master is not using uh, the contradiction at first uh, start. They use trend first. So they use trend analysis or trend engineering system first to look into the 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 situation before they want to apply uh, the contradiction tools or some even some of the 
risk master approach, they don't use function analysis. Uh -huh. So they have different uh, approach, they have different technique. And mm -hmm. I think um, from, from my experience, mm -hmm. uh, when coming from industry or coming from entrepreneurship perspective, I try to uh, introduce tool called the existing tool called value proposition. So value proposition is try to look into uh, the functionality of the system and the challenges or the problem of the system. I think one of the Chris Master also mentioned about this main value parameter and MPV. I think uh, Chris Master Simon Litbin. Uh, Simon Simon Litbin also used uh, his own approach, try to look into main value parameter. So somehow this need to be uh, look into a broader picture first before you want to deep dive into the specific problem that you want to do function analysis, you want to do physical contradiction or technical contradiction and so on and so forth. So, so maybe uh, from, your, from your opinion, what will be the the thing you want to see uh, the value of the problem before you want to solve the problem of course that's the starting point so i mentioned the uh, three tools but i explained only two in in more detail the first tool is benchmarking analysis okay. so benchmarking analysis it is uh, mpv is in there okay so usually for product development we do the some information gathering at the beginning we call it 3c 3c analysis Com company competitor and customer so we oh, okay. see the market and these the summary is mpv of course and competitor what com competing products exist and how the competing so so there is a table you you know right Mm -hmm. tracking yes. table you know so i we always start from there after after the definition of the project the next is data gathering and benchmarking analysis so you, you are right we have to start with which value which mpv we have to target how much we have to improve it something like that so um and then um okay uh Maybe uh, it is a question and answer. Is it okay for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, so maybe um, maybe you can um, tell a bit regarding with the um, uh, the what what you can share uh, coming from uh, how you practice trees in Samsung. So maybe you can give some some brief uh, uh, situation. How does it uh, apply in developing like for MO team? to came up with a better technology or new discovery or a new application of technology? Yeah, if the, the screen sharing worked, I would be happy to share some screens, but I will try again. Let's okay. just run it. Mm. Just tell me if you see something. Uh, no, still no. <laughs> yeah, it's a blank page. Uh, just a moment. Uh, maybe is it related with the screen resolution? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. Maybe the setting got the, the what do you call um, the setting of document, something like that. Yeah, I can see something. File, save. Not yet. Nope. <laughs> okay. So hmm, then maybe I will share some file, okay?
Okay. Oops. Well, there's stuff sharing. How can I share by only content? I think um, you cannot share file here. How about your website? Do you do you have uh, the content in your website? Uh, but it's in yeah, Korea. I yeah, I see your slide. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, then. Mm. Right. Some okay. some post I can see. How to? Can I remove this? Yes, please. Okay. So, this part I already explained. So this is typical roadmap, simplified version for beginning stage. And target stage is finding out which MPVs to target. This is computing, this is a simple version, but anyway. Okay. So you already know this. No, and the, uh, this is first time. <laughs> really? Gen3 use yeah. this, yeah. Uh, I I uh, I get the another version. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. But it's very important. It's nothing very new about this. Yes. Anybody who has experience with product development, they somehow draw similar similar tables. But it's very important. And there is some discipline how to draw how to draw this. So anyway, I will not explain in details. Mm, ah, but uh, your question was a little bit different. So this direction. So target is finding out which value should I target to give to customer. Okay. okay. And uh, so that means we already considered the landscape of computing. Uh, the competing products among competing products, competition, yeah. And then the second stage, finding out the directions, we, we select the winning product from this uh, benchmarking table or the most promising product, which will be the winner in the long run. And then we, we analyze this system and we analyze the problems still still existing in this system. We analyze it using function analysis or we an, um, we analyze it with Keka, C cause effect chain analysis. And then we find out its uh, limitations or its uh, the further improving opportunities of this winning product. So if you see in the bottom of the second second phase, you will see uh, sky blue color clouds. These clouds are the solving directions added to this analysis. Okay. Okay. So then uh, this is not uh, specific ideas. It's uh, big directions, big solving directions. And yes. The generation of the, this big Solving directions can be done semi automatically. Okay. So, after that, we generate ideas along each solving directions uh, and we generate specific ideas by matching uh, available resources or, yeah, yeah, you know. And then we generate ideas, we can arrange it into an idea tree or something like that. Third phase. In this third phase, we designate the exact resources, which will be used to generate specific ideas along each solving directions, and then we design and select the best design, something like that. In the last phase, so on the next phase, this is a snapshot of my own to methodology improved from existing function analysis and cause effect chain analysis. I have some uh, free 
design uh, diagramming software which can be used very efficiently with these two methodology. So I know some people do not like uh, such tools. Uh, the two tools masters, Yuri and Vasily, they have very opposite uh, character. Uh, Yuri uh, is right brain thinker. Vasily is left brain thinker. So these two methods, if, if uh, somebody is left brain thinker who likes logic and uh, uh, very uh, analytic, analytics, logic, numbers, if who like very rigorous method of problem solving, which is reliable in any problem solving, he will like this functional analysis and cause effect chain analysis. But if he think with more, more using right brains, using simpler algorithm, uh, using some analogies, uh, he, who, usually people who like uh, principles, inventive principles and trends and analogies, FOS, they uh, like, they correspond to the, the second type. Anyway, I think uh, these two tools are very important. And in any case, it, it can generate the reliable uh, solving directions systematically, which, which is not biased by your previous knowledge or previous background. So here, all the cloud shapes are solving directions generated by uh, mostly logic. Okay. This is cause effect chain analysis as is cause effect chain analysis. I will not explain in detail. It is similar to the Gen 3's Kekka. And then uh, this, we remove some chains. We investigate, we verify and evaluate the, the reality, validity of the chains and evaluate the importance and we leave the real situation here. Then we generate several solving directions using this, uh, this uh, methodology, using contradiction also. And then, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Okay. So you use the, what you call, uh, checker for direction, talking about, uh, you use the word directly cost, right? Directly what? Directly cause. Uh, what cause it, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because uh, some some of us use the, the question word like why, mm -hmm. maybe what cause, what cause it, maybe how, how it can be, how it can be, what you call, uh, impact the, or create the cause. So, uh, uh, so, it, uh, from your we talk opinion? about this part. Yes, uh, uh, that cause. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, if you ask why this disadvantage happened, the answer to why is two kind. One is the uh, purpose. The other is real cause who resulted in this, uh, who made this disadvantage. But uh, you never have, uh, it is, uh, you should not use the purpose here. Yes, I agree. So, so that is one thing. And the other thing is directly means, uh, uh, more exactly speaking, directly, uh, just a uh, controllable direct cause should become come here. Mm -hmm. So if you skip some cause, intermediate cause, you will lose the opportunity to, to generate more solving directions. Right? Yes. And if you include uncontrollable cause, for example, gravity exists or uh, the patient is blind. If 
If we are generating some tools to help the blind people, then we are not targeting at, at fixing the blindness of the people. And so, so if it is not controllable, we, I omit it usually because there will not be generating any useful solving directions. If my answer helps you. Yeah, because I, 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 I agree every time I use, uh, we try to do exercise and use the word why, it could be like uh, the, uh, the, what you call the person who provide the information will um, go towards the purpose part of um, what you yeah. call validated uh, causes. And then uh, another um, uh, approach that uh, we we uh, we we experience is actually we are looking at the uh, we try to use the uh, checka change on the uh, component and also function uh, instead of the situation or scenario. So, uh, do you do you have any uh, experience on that? Uh, pardon, I, I'm not sure I understood you correctly. Kekka chain on function? On the functionality and also components. So, because we try to uh, focusing on the root cause, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, it could be the, we, we try to link the root cause with the uh, component or the functionality of the component. That part is functional analysis part. So, you see in the screen left yeah okay so you you know this right ah, yes i know this yeah you know but uh, i have upgraded this functional analysis into functional analysis plus so it also has some clouds and uh, so the, the the polygons here are components and the arrows are the actions, and uh, together they can define the functions. Okay. Yeah. So you are talking about this, right? Yes. Yes. So I think I we do not have enough time to discuss here in detail. <laughs> but uh, okay. but uh, usually some people who underestimate. I used to like Hekka more in the beginning, in the beginning of my professional career. I liked Hekka because it is uh, very useful, very uh, flexible, and it can represent the situation and causal mechanisms very accurately. But later I began to like uh, functional analysis sometimes more because uh, Kekka is based on your, your reasoning, your understanding of the problem situation. But function analysis, there is uh, the components already existing physically in the situation. So, so it can prevent you to fall into your own thinking, your own hypothesis about some of the, co some of the cause. And also, Functional analysis is useful because it also includes the, the resources, material resources, which can be used for solving the problems. So in many cases, functional analysis is useful also. So in, when I do a project, usually if it is a very simple project, then I do, uh, normally I do either functional analysis or Kekka plus. Okay, understand. If the problem is uh, difficult, if the project is difficult project, then I do functional analysis plus first. And this process can ensure that I understand the system and the mechanism of the problem correctly. And then I do Kekka plus. Okay. I generate the solving directions from each of the solving directions. Most of them overlap. but some solving directions more clearly is generated from functional analysis, another from Kekka. Okay, great, great. So, so 
after generating these solving directions, we, we evaluate the solving directions and select the main solving directions and then generate the solutions. This is a real example from a semiconductor industry. And we, we the, there was some, uh, just a moment. The false alarm was the problem and it was completely removed by using the ideas which was generated by this methodology. Okay. Okay, maybe, uh, maybe I, I'm not sure I, your question was how I read it in Samsung, something like that. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I talked too long, maybe. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It, it, it is a great opportunity for us because okay. um, from my point of view, actually, we are uh, in the uh, in the S curve, we are at the S1 kind of uh, uh, level. We you, actually... have, you have 20 years experience. <laughs> uh, that is, uh, we actually learn in, um, in uh, what you call, um, uh, what you call limited resources, eh? because you, because we are, we are, uh, yeah, we need to, we doesn't have any a strong engagement uh, with uh, what you call means, uh, uh, industry in especially in Malaysia that hire uh, what they call Russian expert and try to learn the best as we can uh, in developing a technology as great as Samsung or LG or other uh, Korean company. So uh, we are still not there yet. Okay, but uh, yeah. most of us are moving uh, moving fast in terms of the education sector. So that that is could be mm -hmm. our our maybe there is as uh, as two maybe on the education, but for industry it depends on the company. Eh? Actually, what you have mentioned before is um, how you learn trees and coming from the background of Six Sigma, right? So electronic is really uh, very strong in Six Sigma. So maybe you you learn trees and how you try to blend. It regarding with that uh, application. Uh, can you repeat the last sentence? Okay, so how, yeah, you, you show the slide talking about how you uh, expand trees in Korea. So maybe you can share about uh, the experience. Uh, experience of uh, using trees? Yes. In Korea? Yeah, yeah, I, mm, okay, so. Mm, how should I? We just moment. It was uh, so you can see this Forbes article how Samsung became such a formidable competitor. This is my interview with Forbes magazine together with uh, Vasily. Yes. So if you search this title, maybe you can find the, the article and uh, there will be some explanation about how we used trees to make Samsung more innovative company. Okay, then just a moment. This, you know this example, the ref refrigerator door, home bar door, sauce bar, it's famous famous uh, this case, real project case. It's also from Samsung. Hello? Hello, yes, yes. Okay. Do you, don't maybe you need we don't have this product in Malaysia. <laughs> maybe we don't have the experience. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. So in Korea, is, this is very famous example of this. Every company has been using this, but it's from Vasily. Uh, who was my colleague and uh, Samsung in, in Samsung there are uh, they have been hiring many trees, Russian trees masters and 
they are hired during one year or two year and they refresh the contract. And sometimes they change uh, for other dress masters, dress experts. But uh, Vasily has been hired in Samsung group for 12 years. Wow. That means during 12 years, his contract was refreshed, refreshed, refreshed again, because he was the best uh, problem solver. Every some every Tris consultant, uh, every Tris uh, manager, every Samsung engineer who was responsible for Tris, uh, they agree that Vasily was the best problem solver. And this was one of the one of his uh, project, real project. So do you know the home bar door? No, no, it is the uh, first thing for us. Oh, really? So in a refrigerator, in fridge, there is a small door attached for quick access of water or ice, you know? Yes. So, so they wanted cost reduction of this home bar door. So you see this uh, SUS link. This link uh, prevents the door from falling down and it is folded to allow the door to be closed again. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, this is the most expensive part and sometimes it generates injury uh, to the fingers. Okay. So in Samsung was competing with Daewoo and LG, the other companies, Daewoo uh, also tried to reduce the cost of this SUS bar and they shortened it, but the cost was uh, did not decrease very much mm -hmm. because the number of parts the same. And for if okay, and LG removed one one stick because the the sus bar consists of two sticks, but LG removed one stick, but it generated some holes, some sliding slots rail here so it can slide that's how it can be closed you understand so the cost material cost reduced but it was a patent from general electric so due to royalty the to total cost did not increase decrease okay but in samsung samsung they had hired this master and facilely thought is this the hint the sus bars are problem? Are they expensive? Then remove it. They trimmed it. And then they solved the uh, the next problem. If we remove the sus bar, what happens? The door falls down. Then you you know the trimming thinking mechanism. Yes. So how can the existing parts can help uh, prevent falling down of the door. So that's how we solved it using changing the shape of the inner inner structure. They, they removed the sus bar, but still the door can be uh, does not fall down. So this is one of the successful. The design became better. The cost, there is some change in the mold, but uh, when we develop new product, anyway, we have to modify the mold so it does not generate any cost. And this drawing is initial drawings. So this is one of the example of how Samsung used trees experts to for cost reduction, for example. Great, great. So I have another example from Hyundai. Hyundai, is, Hyundai Motors also is using this very intensively. So, but uh, to save time, I will skip this part. So this is Samsung's, uh, how they educate people and how they certify, how they do projects. 
it's a bit old, but uh, still they are doing. Yes. So in all, all of their business divisions, they do projects and they educate, especially the R&D people, but, uh, also from manufacturing also. This is POSCO. POSCO also. I heard IT. POSCO uh, have uh -huh. uh, University Trisha, is it? Is it? Is it correct? Yes. yes. Oh, okay, but great. Maybe now, I'm not sure, but uh, after change of this chairman, president, oh, okay. then, then maybe they shrinked the Trisha ac activities. Okay. So many companies in Korea is using Trisha very much. I also apply a program, talent program for. Uh, from the agency in Korea. So they specifically need uh, people with the skill and also experience in trees uh, application. So I try to apply it, but my PhD is uh, not complete five years. So I'm, I just graduate. So I cannot, uh, what do you call, so-called qualified for that uh, talent. <laughs> okay. So, and uh, but unfortunately, many of the many of the three projects uh, is confidential. So there's not so much written, uh, especially English material about three projects. But since uh, since around maybe during last tw twenty years. Samsung has been sharing among Samsung Group uh, subsidiary companies. Mm -hmm. They have been sharing this uh, project success stories, something like that. I have uh, some hard so paper uh, proceedings, printed proceedings of the conferences, but it's mainly internal. Yes, I internal understand. to Samsung. Yeah. So what do you op uh, what is your opinion regarding with the uh, what do you call uh, China is starting to pick up this so-called trees uh, innovation uh, tools and try to boost their so-called technology development and so on and so forth because we have seen a lot of uh, uh, pattern filing coming from China uh, which used flooding, they are flooding the market with all the mm -hmm. technology and so on and so forth, like drone, like uh, so many uh, specific strategic technology. So well, maybe you can share your opinion uh, regarding with the China adoption of trees. Yeah, I, I, they are very active also, but uh, I remember a few years ago, uh, Mr. So I forgot the, his name, Mr. Wang. I forgot his name, but the, the, the main the founder of Matrix China, okay. yeah, he, he mentioned that China is learning trees. It, it was maybe five years ago, four, four, five years ago, learning trees, but application uh, they they are still trying to generate uh, best practices, real application success stories in trees. But at that time, they thought it was not as successful as other countries, especially Korea. And uh, as you know, uh, the not only the number of cert certified uh, uh, the matrix certification. So I don't know the current statistics, but uh, uh, at least three years ago, maybe 60% of the total certification came from South Korea in the world. You know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, only half of the picture. The other half of the picture is the real application of trees in industry. And I'm sure that the, the world's most number of projects and financial results 
was produced by trees in Korea, more than other countries. Even the trees experts, their dream is coming to Korea because their main way of living as a trees expert in Russia is training, not, not consulting. Yes. The industry, the economy, there's not big variable projects because there is not big uh, rich industries. Mm -hmm. So they, they want to come to Korea and when the, especially the tourist experts who stayed long in Korea as a tourist expert hired, hired by big companies or consulting companies like us, they have uh, the most experience of real tourist application. I know that uh, there are many good uh, trees uh, specialists in Gen3 also, but uh, frankly speaking, in Korea, we was trying to sell Gen3's project, project consulting, mm -hmm. but it was too expensive. So after the first several years of several projects, uh, it was difficult to sell their consulting in Korea. Mm -hmm. That's why how we that's why we reduced that uh, partnership activities. Mm, okay. So but uh, anyway uh, when we talk about Chinese or or other countries their main tools or are or roadmap algorithm of using trees is based on classical trees, mostly. That's the limitation. Classical trees, the problem, the, the, the inventive principles, it's a, not a reliable, reliable tool. Contradiction matrix, even Artur said it was a not good way. He, he abandoned it later. So you need to focus the, on the front end, front part, front half part. It's a systematic analysis of the system and the problem. And after that, you will generate a relatively complete set of big solving directions. That part is the most important part. And uh, we are good at that part, and uh, that's why our company is good at winning this uh, government-supported uh, uh, program, which support R&D budget to the winner of a competition of problem solving. And uh, our company has been very competitive in winning the project. So during two or three days, we solve the problem before even we get the money, we solve the problem half, and then we compete with the result, and we always, not always, but we very often win the project. Wow, real, that's, solving that's, is really important. Yeah. Yes, that's that's very what you call uh, what you call good achievement. That uh, because um, we we are we are we are actually at the, at the learning curve. Uh, especially most of the practitioner in Malaysia. And then um, having here, what you call your, your sharing today is very, very, um, very valuable for us uh, in talking about how to move uh, forward, talking about um, what we try to uh, improve our knowledge uh, beyond classical trees. And actually, uh, what do you call to see uh, your company successfully? Uh, what do you call supporting a huge giant company uh, in uh, what do you call their technology development, problem solving, and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, yeah, it, it is a very what do you call a great honor to 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 really have you. Uh, in terms of uh, this uh, quite uh, interesting, very interesting uh, sharing 
uh, today. Okay, so um, uh, okay, and may maybe something you need to add on uh, from your side. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I was. Uh, yesterday I found your post about this event. And I was glad to share uh, with people in Malaysia about our experience. And uh, today I talked too much, but uh, next time maybe we can share and discuss more about how to apply this to business and society, something like that. Yeah, that's that's good idea. Good idea. Um, okay, maybe uh, uh, anyone have any question for Mr. Alex? Uh, anyone from audience? Hi, Mr. Alex. Uh, it's me, Akil. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, just now, just now, I I saw that uh, there's a slide, uh, and and you there is a this thing called the benchmarking analysis. So I wonder, uh, this benchmarking analysis, is it a standard tool in trees or is it the, just a common tool uh, that you fit into the process of problem solving? Uh, benchmarking analysis is a term by Gensley partners, currently Gensley trees. They, they have a stage in the beginning, which uh, named benchmarking analysis. It is a, an existing tool in modern trees, not from the classical trees. And uh, it is a little bit misleading because uh, usually benchmarking have another meaning. So we benchmark GE or we benchmark IBM or something like that. We try to learn something from uh, one or two leading companies, something like that. But it is a little bit different. It's a kind of... Uh, landscape of market competition and uh, and uh, what is the main value main needs in the market so all together it's it gives a very good uh landscape of the competition situation including your own products and including the total summary the to totally which product is most promising and in the bottom you can also put your goals for if we i i improve this MPV to this amount, the final of our uh, effectiveness will be uh, acceptable as a winning product in the future, something like that. So it's a standard in the modern trees. Uh, I, I wonder, uh, Mr. Alex, that uh, where can I find the resource, the resource for the, for the uh, benchmarking analysis in trees that you mentioned? It's included in the Gen3 Tweets uh, education course, but uh, uh, it's not free. And uh, I have, uh, I cannot give you your training material. I have it, but uh, it's forbidden to give it to you. And uh, uh, I did not name it as a benchmarking analysis plus, but uh, we have a little bit more detailed because I was from Six Sigma consulting industry. So we like more systematic and uh, more detailed explanation in every stage. So we a little bit developed further, but not very seriously. So uh, maybe we we have the our own company also have the education material, but uh, I have to discuss it with other guys in my company also. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, perhaps perhaps a, a, a perhaps a, sem a, a small a sample uh, how uh, this is, is uh, if this is useful will, will be very uh, how say very 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 beneficial. Uh, because I am I'm, I am also fascinated with uh, this uh, MPV. Uh, so I have a question for Dr. Zohasni. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dr. Zohas, uh, Dr. Zohasni, you are a strong proponent of using MPV uh, it, when it comes to problem solving. So uh, can you elaborate more? Okay, um, I've uh, first of all, all the knowledge I've uh, received is actually to study. And most of the material is coming from uh, Simon, Simon Litvin. 
he, um, I saw he really promote a lot of uh, MPV. So MPV is actually from from my personal view is looking at the value of um, parameter in your engineering design, something like that. So there is a part of uh, parameter that is critical that is uh, uh, carry the value of the product. So it could be a lot of things uh, that coming up from there and it could be like try to improve or try to innovate this parameter could lead you to the increase of value. So um, I, I've gathered a few of material from my research uh, and also coming from, uh, uh, I think Simon Lee Bin uh, Gentry also. So maybe uh, what is actually public domain that I've uh, gathered, I, I can share with you later. So maybe most probably that you can see that um, uh, what you call the, how, how does the concept of MPV able to pinpoint you, which parameter you want to innovate, you want to change and try with that, yeah, uh, innovation. You try to increase the the what you call the value of the product or the value of the system, something like that. So this, uh, because I see this uh, MPV application more uh, more towards the uh, in the entrepreneurship part or startup part. So they want to develop what you call um, niche element or something like uh, what they call they call it like uh, unique selling point something like that okay mm -hmm. so how does it able to uh, add value to this so called unique selling point or it could be a niche area for them to to start up a new product for their business something like that so this is my personal view lah Yes, uh, thank you so much, Dr. Zohasi, because I, I understand your, your, the meaning of unique selling point. And uh, I also know that unique selling point is actually, from Tree's perspective, is actually looking at the MPV. Uh, just that I, I wonder is that where do you place the MPV importance? Is it before, before the start of the problem solving process or in the middle? Uh, of course, uh, before that. I think. Uh, the application of uh, the stress tool happens uh, in between uh, customer and also manufacturer or inventor. So, in the customer perspective, yeah, we we could like um, what you call adopt this benchmarking analysis, looking at the market competition, which is which uh, have the biggest uh, what you call value in the market. But you as inventor, you are in the in the in the background try their best uh, to improve the design. So maybe the, the example that Alex give, talking about Samsung, uh, there is uh, two type of um, perspective. One is uh, the user, uh, what they call fridge door, when you open it, uh, for consumer is uh, safety. So that is value for the consumer. For the manufacturer is cost reduction. So how do you want to achieve uh, user uh, better experience or maybe safety performance? And also from the inventor part, how do you want to reduce cost? Uh, how many percent of cost reduction you can achieve when you apply this kind of uh, new tools, uh, new invention, and so on and so forth. So it is two different uh, perspectives that you try your best to, to make sure that both uh, perspective are uh, been covered for this uh, trees application. Maybe Alex can 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 add on uh, what is your opinion regarding with the uh, solving uh, consumer issue and also uh, manufacturing uh, improvement on the design. So maybe Alex can share. You need to on the mic, sorry. Yeah, I agree with your opinion. And maybe I can share, oh, just me. Uh, paste is not working. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 
In the beginning, you have to use, in the beginning of the project, you have to use it. And it is used especially important for more, it is more important for product, new product development than uh, problem solving. Because in problem solving, the main MPV is already known. Of course, we can add small subsidiary MPVs to find better solution, but uh, and when you solve, uh, you, you develop new product, you also have to think the, the latent MPVs, as you know. Yeah. Which is not known to the market or customers yet, in some cases. So um, I think we already, um, uh, what do you call it, like sit. <laughs> I think we, we tried to finish uh, before 12, but I know it's 12.30. So uh, maybe um, we, it is a very good discussion um, in this one and a half hour session. So I think there's a lot of things that we can um, talk about, uh, especially we have uh, Mr. Alex here. Uh, we have a lot of experience in uh, practicing trees in uh, South Korea. Okay, so um, uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe the, uh, we we uh, maybe we need to um, yeah maybe we try to look into one or two more topics uh, talking about the lesson learned in applying trees okay, before we go to closing session. So. Um, Maybe um, uh, you you could share what will be um, a valuable lesson learned in applying uh, applying uh, trees uh, in in Korea. Hmm. Okay. First of all, uh, as I told you, uh, people usually do not know some method of creative in invention exists. People usually do not know that. So, as you know, also, everybody is saying that uh, nowadays is a, an, a period where innovation is very important because change is faster, blah, blah. The fourth industrial revolution, something like that. So all the core innovation is the core capability for company and in the individual also but but there are many lecturers in the world uh, who who say who insist that they are uh, expert in creativity expert in great creative thinking methodology but uh, you we know that this is one of the maybe the, the best systematic method but people do not know the society do not know so how to solve this problem and uh, promote this better and prove this is used by real projects that's very important and uh, try to share the success stories which has been hidden hidden in each companies and mm -hmm. hidden in each expert's notebook and his brain. So we have to open more. Okay. So that's my opinion. Yep. So uh, during my um, my terms in um, in Proton actually uh, we I have also a difficult time to to share the the case study done for cost reduction. So uh, during my my whole one year, uh, because I'm I'm exploring uh, which tool is best for cost reduction. So I try to explore a lot of uh, tools, which most in Malaysia, uh, all the uh, what they call improvement tool being influenced by Japanese. So we have Kaizen, we have 
uh, Ishikawa diagram. We have um, so-called this lean tool. But uh, the issue is this Japanese tool is more towards um, process innovation. Uh, not so much in the so-called uh, product innovation. So maybe on the lean part is uh, designed for Six Sigma could be there is more upstream on the uh, design level uh, level. So beside that, I think there's more towards uh, uh, statistical process control, uh, Pareto, uh, what do you call, most towards process control. So when I try to develop a cost reduction design or design, mm -hmm. uh, engineer do not have any tools, any good mm -hmm. tool beside the Kaizen tool. 5S and so on and so forth. So this tool uh, somehow uh, unable to show the effectiveness for mm -hmm. the engineers to uh, do cost reduction in their design. So uh, at that time, I tried to do an internal workshop and to introduce uh, classical trees. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then uh, from this group, there is a power team doing a design on the engine. We have a body assembly, the structure of the body. We have interior, car seat, and so on and so forth. We have uh, electrical, and we have also um, some mechanical uh, design of the car. So we train this subgroup, and we, we ask them to develop a cost reduction project. So what they do, they try to explore using uh, function analysis, um, the first uh, challenges is uh, a simple product, for example, like a pen, and you try to do functional analysis in the training, is okay, it's easy, okay? But when you want to do in uh, a simple product like exhaust, exhaust muffler, so the component, uh, they want to derive a component is, there's so, so many features, and so many partition and uh, for the part that is uh, functioned by sound involves sound involve heat involve uh, thermal uh, what do you call element then from your function analysis you cannot see much you can see uh, insufficient function excessive function harmful function so uh, we have mm. uh, difficulty to introduce thermal uh, sound function, sound cancellation function, and so on and so forth. So uh, this is one of the experience we have in applying this tool. And then we try to introduce, we, we get some support uh, from Dr. Sergei Ikovenko. We also reach out for uh, another uh, risk uh, practitioner in US. I think Alan Dom. I'm not sure you you're familiar with that name. So he she promoted trimming. So we do a lot of trimming in the cost reduction, in uh, uh, car design, interior design, and um, and some of body structure. So in one year, we able to achieve uh, cost reduction in uh, up to uh, 13, 13 million. Mm -hmm. million sure. cost reduction for one year mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, sure. uh, after the next year it will increase 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 mm -hmm. all the engineer have this equipment uh, this tool called trimming and it is very very powerful so yeah, the yeah. the challenging part is you try to take out the component and you think about how in your creativity um, uh, what do you call uh, process you try to keep the function mm -hmm. to, yeah, yeah. to redesign how you want mm -hmm. to keep the function without the component so this mm -hmm. is one of the uh, what do you call very good um, uh, effect of using trees in design and most of the case study i publish in a paper lah. so i get some uh, approval from the uh, company and the company mentioned that if this is for education, uh, for what you call uh, public, uh, what you call uh, interest, then uh, there is no problem in sharing this. 
and uh, one of the another big project coming from Proton is uh, pattern circumvention. Mm -hmm. uh, so we try to design uh, our engine with mm -hmm. uh, cylinder deactivation system. Okay, so we mm -hmm. with the stable uh, stable top, the the they will uh, shut off. Uh, two from the four cylinder, so they only like oh, yes, yes. Uh, so something. Mm -hmm. So we do. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm. 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 I'm uh, Honda, following. Honda have the patent. Honda. Yes. Honda have the patent. Yeah. So uh, we we follow the 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 approach where actually um, Hyundai and Kia have the case study. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, in, uh, so uh, we we follow that case study. So we do the 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 approach in using three stool. Mm -hmm. We but we use trimming. So we trim. Um, we benchmark Volkswagen, <laughs> Volkswagen engine uh, because Volkswagen and Audi have a mechanical uh, system, which easy for us to trimming. Uh, electronic system is difficult <laughs> because. Uh, mm -hmm control element is um, uh, more because our engine is more mechanical and uh, we have um, pre uh, previous previous start, uh, design that we carry forward from Lotus so Lotus engine uh, that have a cam deactivation system so we mm -hmm. try to uh, duplicate the case mm -hmm. study from Kia and Hyundai into our Proton engine so we successfully done it and we no, no patent issues uh, no patent <laughs> issues uh okay the, the issue is the the company uh decide that they um in 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 the process um there is a change of management so the the what do you call there is a new big company buying proton okay so they 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 will they are not uh, make a decision to file that that thing. So mm -hmm. what they do is actually they uh, discuss with the supplier. Uh, so they discuss with supplier. I think uh, the uh, supplier name is Scheffler. Scheffler. So Scheffler is uh, helping us in developing the new design of the engine. So we discuss with them. Uh, we ask them to develop the the technology for us. So okay. this is one of the strategic partner in terms of uh, intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So um, that is a very top big project I've experienced uh, using these trees. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, I able to share with others uh, from my journal publication. <laughs> that is my my view. Okay, very nice. Function analysis is very good for cost reduction. Yeah. Yeah. But the uh, class, not classical, but the uh, Gen 3's version of functional analysis can only lead to trimming solutions. But uh, there is other directions also. In functional analysis plus, we have more possibilities, including modification or something. Does the direction is linked to the trend and uh, generating system? Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it can be related later, but yeah, in the front stage. Uh, so I linked the high level of standard solutions, the big directions, which can be generated using the standard solutions uh, into fun functional analysis method. So each problematic error or each problematic or costly component can be changed by modification or trimming or adding some third element or there are more diverse possibility of solutions. Yes, that, that, that is a great, great uh, additional uh, value uh, talking about uh, function analysis maybe uh, 
Um, I'm not sure it could be a very good uh, opportunity, maybe uh, to what do you call get um, more engaged with you uh, in terms of uh, learning new tools and uh, maybe uh, getting some uh, what do you call uh, improvement element. Eh? How we want to apply uh, classical truth, uh, classical trees tool better. Okay, mm -hmm. so um, okay. Um, I think uh, we will uh, go to the last part. <laughs> I think we will, we have already exit our okay. So it's a very mm -hmm. good discussion. Maybe we um, uh, uh, what do you call uh, uh, go to the last session. Actually, uh, we need to uh, give some opportunity for maybe uh, others and also Mr. Alex to to give some uh, last advice. Okay, maybe some conclusion. Or maybe mm -hmm. some recommendation, or maybe you want to promote uh, something uh, from your part uh, to our trees community, especially in trees Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was very nice to have this opportunity to communicate easily with uh, Malaysian trees guys. And I think, although our nationality differs, maybe we have more common feature than average uh, people from the same country, we have more common features. <laughs> we are similar people. So it was nice. It was uh, nice for me to also to discuss with you. And uh, due to the Corona virus, so in Korea also we will be having more online communications working remotely communicating remotely. So I think the, the location, the geometry cannot be a big barrier to us anymore. And uh, so it is always beneficial to discuss with foreign experts in the same industry. So I hope there will be more opportunity to, sh to communicate between us. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Alex. Uh, okay, uh, I think um, from other uh, members, uh, how about uh, what do you call uh, Kyung? Do you have any uh, what do you call last word from you? Uh, I just want to say thank you very much for to Mr. Alex and Dr. Johnson for this great sharing and uh, to organize this face-to-face. Uh, -face. Uh, meeting uh, with people uh, of the same minded. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. Thank you very much, both of you. Uh, and then, uh, how about others? Uh, uh, Hyrule or Rishdi or Zolia? Uh, is it uh, anyone, anything you want to say? Okay, we have Dr. Rishdi. Okay, please, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. Um, uh, first, I would like to thank Dr. Zulhasni for hosting this uh, very, very nice uh, meeting, I think, and for uh, Mr. Alex who shared uh, his experience, and I learned a lot from uh, this conversation. Um, I'm from Indonesia, and uh, I learned trees across from uh, Sergei Ikovenko from Chantry. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to thank uh, for this meeting. And maybe uh, I asked for another meeting related to how to uh, introduce uh, this very good uh, tool for new generation, mainly for uh, university student or maybe for elementary, or I, I don't know which uh, level of education is. Uh, a good starting for uh, introducing these uh, very good tools. <clears throat> okay, I think that's uh, and uh, uh, best wishes from uh, Indonesia for all of you. Uh, my uh, everyone uh, in uh, healthy and safe. Thank you very much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so we have uh, our our members from Indonesia also participating in this. Uh, Session. Thank you very much, Doctor. So, um, uh, okay, uh, for the rest, how about I know?
do you have any question from your side? Hello. Hi. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Chile again. Okay. Okay. Now, um, I'm just uh, listening. Um, basically, I'm trying to. Uh, still uh, figuring out uh, ideas about innovation in education. Um, just um, I, I, I don't know that much about trees, so I'm just um, trying to figure figure out uh, how about the practicality and so on. So just thank you for the sharing session. Sorry, my my baby is with me. I <laughs> okay. So I think uh, uh, one I know is uh, maybe asking about uh, yeah it could be like trees for for what you call education and how does it change the mindset okay I think uh, Mr Alex mentioned about the there's a lot of um, lecturer talking about creative and innovation so first we need to show some some what you call impact so not just talking but also show some some proof. So I think uh, uh, I know men uh, asking about maybe how do you want to change the mindset? Okay, how how do you want to use trees to change the mindset? Uh, I think similar uh, question from Dr. Rushdi: How to improve our thinking ability or creativity or innovation for our uh, new generation? Eh? So it is uh, not uh, what you call industrial perspective. It is more towards um, the education perspective. Okay, so um, yeah, it could be like we will develop another session for that. Okay, uh, that is a very specific talking about uh, trees and try to change uh, the mindset of people, especially uh, not just for industry, for uh, student, and yeah, maybe we can we can we can set up another session. Okay. I think, uh, Mr. Alex, do you do you have any uh, comment or any feedback on this uh, interest? Uh, not very much because I missed part of the question <laughs> by the her nephew. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, maybe we we can we can we can discuss later on this uh, and the different uh, session. Okay. So um, I think uh, with that, uh, I think Hyrule ada apa-apa soalan ke? Hyrule, uh, okay ke? I think uh, okay. I think uh, that's all from from today, uh, from from me today. Thank you very much. I think I will end this session. Uh, I think we have exit so much. I think it's almost one o'clock here in Malaysia. So okay. thank you very much, uh, Mr. Alex. Thank you very much, Dr. Rosdi. I know. Uh, Dr. Kyung and also Hyrule for joining this group. Uh, it is very, very valuable. It is very, very informative talking uh, and have this uh, very huge opportunity to be uh, together with Mr. Alex and and hopefully that we can have more uh, what you call a fruitful session with a very uh, what you call uh, specific topic. Huh? After this, and how we went, we can collaborate uh, in the same platform as trees uh, between us. Okay, so uh, thank you, everyone. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Uh, stay safe, and uh, hope we can see uh, again in another session. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Yes, <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs>